Welcome to 10 Minute Daily. Video.net. Oh, Ken Hovind, he's got questions. He's You got cues. <sighs> My only enemy is time. Crime almost always pays. Now it puts you in the grave, and no one else can save you. You've got cues. Ken Hovind's got A's. He's got an A in his mouth. Let's go. Kent Hovind, Q&A. Should wives obey their husbands? African crater? Good evening, folks. Kent Hovind here and the crew at Dinosaur Adventureland in slightly rainy, lovely Lennox, Lennox Alabama. Ugh, Thank you for joining us. Say words and right. Here. We've got to add this from now on. We are the folks who believe the Bible is literally true and scientifically accurate, and the evolution theory being illegally taught at taxpayers' expense is the dumbest and most dangerous religious cult in the history of the world. Evolution is not just a religion, it's a cult. I've been doing <laughs> crazy cults, and it's just going to take... I thought, you know, we can start a whole... Do you fucking... Does it follow the bite model? There's not a single atheist that restricts anyone's money, restricts anyone's... Uh, sexuality or discussions of other things. It it's it's even less a cult than it is a religion. But okay, dumb shit, dumb shit. Or not people have been. He always he always confers that because whenever he goes, oh shit, I can't say belief. The rationalists are gonna say. They're going to throw belief in my face. I got to make sure uh, or be taught because his rhetoric is kids are being taught illegally in schools that evolution is true. And I posit. Shut up. Uru, he will take you to heaven and, you know, but you got to give all your money. For now, we'll, I, all Fuck you. That's your thing, too, man. Study on all the different cults. What do they believe compared to the Bible? We may do that here soon. Don't know. Oof. Anyway, evolution is a cult. Uh, nope. Bring a group down, a visitor down, a group down for Dinosaur Adventure Land. Bring a group, group, group. Camp or to stay. There are quite a few visitors here tonight. Would anybody like to come tell your story? Oh, no. Who you are, where you're from. Come, come back to me later. Holy shit, this is taking forever, right? Came from Scotland. Come on up here. Tell yeah, who you are, how you heard of Colorado. You hear about that? It's Alabama. What's the court here? All right, good to have you here, brother. You get off the Oh, it's a, it's a white guy? No way, it's a white guy. Gave me your thing on YouTube, and when I saw it, I was just absolutely gobsmacked. I was like, how could there possibly be anything for me? I'm a backwards moron. I'm the dumbest person in my own town. How can I find anyone as dumb as me? Well, I found him. His name is Kent. <laughs> oh, crikey. I found someone just as stupid as me. <laughs> How long ago was that? <laughs> Blackberry Boo. 18 months ago. Okay. I've been listening to you ever since. Okay. Say something in I got you there, didn't I? That's who this is English, say. Scottish. Okay. Coming to home, can you check that? That's Gaelic, right? Oh, Gaelic, like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I've been to uh, Wales three times, North Ireland once, Ireland three The true narcissist, and I do this too, equates whatever conversation they're having to something that they can relate to. Uh, I'm, I am, of course, giving Kent Hovind shit. He has nothing to say to this person because he can barely understand what they're saying because they talk funny. And Ken Hovind is is really focusing on, wait, was that Gaelic or was he swearing? Was he actually swearing? Maybe, was he doing swears? Was he doing like a secret atheist code? <laughs> And oh, um, I know you like uh, cartoons and stuff. You, you can buy things that drew in the links in the description. Thanks to thank you for buying the things. Let me buy. Nope. Times England twice. Never got to Scotland. 
I heard you got some heathen up there in that country. Is that true? Oh, absolutely. Well, go get them. Okay. Uh, well, I actually live in England. There. There's a lot of heathen there. Well, heathen there too. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us, brother. Appreciate it. All right. Wait. Who else wants to come share a quick testimony? Am I a heathen? Oh, that's what I do. I pass almost every penny on to you. And if you're havered in, is that what he means? All right, Mike, how long have you been here? Two days. Ah, so Mike. Where are you from? Oh. Uh, McMinnville, Oregon. McMinnville, Oregon. Yes, we need to get all the single guys up here and advertise. We're looking for a camp nurse who's single and about, what, 28 or 30 years old? Yes, Go ahead. Like that, yeah. And uh, you came down here to do mechanic work for us and got yes, put right yeah. to work. Yeah, I did. Yeah. And that was it. Yeah. <laughs> it's been uh, following you for years. So oh, you're too pretty to be this dumb. Oh, oh come on. Since VHS era. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, been a long time. Oh, my God. Admit you're gay and kiss me. I hate these people. I love it. I like racing around on the... Uh, Oh, never mind. Turned off immediately. And that Kawasaki Mule, yeah, 50, 50 to zero in one second <laughs> when you hit a tree. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, thank you, brother. Appreciate it. He says, I'm a straight mechanic with his mouth, but his eyes say, Daddy can't kiss my mouth. Kiss, kiss me. Oh, okay. Bye. Did you kids get the tour today? Ew. And do you want to say anything? Or mom or dad? No. Okay, how about you? Smart. Guys? You just got here. You haven't had the tour yet, right? Came from uh, Ontario. So you haven't had the tour yet. Who has had the tour, the real tour, and did not get a certificate? Yet? All right, I'm guessing the real tour doesn't have any murder or anything. And I don't know what the real tour is. I'm really curious. And he's close enough that I want to... I don't know. I'm not going to. Amazing, amazing place. Ugh. All right, a little bit of rain. We'll give you all the tour tomorrow, Lord willing. And the creeks don't rise too high. Who? There. All right. Wow. That was okay. So of this 36 minute video, I guess it's only three minutes. All right. Bring your students down for a field trip. Okay. okay we always do this. Don't do that. Don't do that. Creation. I have a feeling uh, they do that at the uh, ARC exhibit. And the other thing I want to point out too, I know why he doesn't agree with Ken Ham. It's because Ken Ham makes a lot more money and they're failing. By the way, that arc exhibit is like a money sink. A uh, Gino figure. Um, but what's really funny is uh, is that's what the whole reason I think he actually disagrees with Ken Ham is he's like jelly. He doesn't have an arc. And Peachum Evolution is dumb. Evolution is dumb. Who of the DAL folks want to be on the Can't. DAL volleyball team? We probably ought to have some uh, practices. Nathan, you okay? Yeah. Oh, We're going oh. to play Only if you Bob. kiss me on my mouth, sir. Bob.com. He wins 98% of his games. He has played more one man volleyball team. He's played more games than any athlete in history, is what they think. Uh, over 20,000. He gets into public school and uses volleyball as a hook to get him in there and say, Look, you got, you got all your friends against you, all the kids are against you. You can still win. I just did against the whole team. It's a great way to get into school. So he's going to come here and try to beat us. Somebody wrote to Bob and said, uh, Dear Bob, when you came to my school, I was about to end my life. I did not have anything left to do except take up space in everyone's daily life. I felt useless. September, I was going to end my life on my birthday, which was coming up on September 26th. I had already prepared to hang myself with my own computer cord. It no one really. It's not a good idea. But every day, I think of how you beat the odds and won against the volleyball team. And that is my motivation to keep on going. You are my hero, Bob. I would like to share my story with everyone else. If you would like to, just keep uh, keep motivating your newest friend. No one should kill themselves. It's a waste of human life. Oh. A younger me would have made a really, really mean joke right here. Uh, you know, I think I was more on board with suicide when I was slightly more religious. Yeah. Friend David. Amazing. Uh, he called me two days ago. We talked for quite a while. Uh, he went to a Christian college that I almost went to. What a weird uh, face. Tennessee Temple in Chattanooga, Tennessee. He's closed down now, but I spoke there several times. Uh, he speaks at gymnasium, you know, high school assemblies and college assemblies all the time. Plays the whole team. He's in Ripley's, believe it or not. Uh, Bob Holmes holds the world record for having played more games in any sport than any other athlete alive. In fact, Bob has played over 20,000 games of volleyball in his lifetime. Bob's talent and message has been heard, seen and heard by over 6 million people. 
So this has been out for like two hours and it's gotten like a thousand views. Um, is this all about Bob? Holy shit, this is just him selling stuff this whole time. We wow, I thought this episode we were going to actually get into any of the cues. Or do you just leave this up for a long time? I'm confused. Okay. Uh, okay. He beat the Miami yeah, I don't, I don't care about all that. World. Okay, here, here we go. Here go. And help us stay open for free and win souls and develop more material. Tell their friends about it. So seven minutes of nothing so far. Not even to the point yet. Seven minutes of this video. Get and copy our books and DVDs to reach people over the summer. Summer's a great time. As of a little while ago, we had 139,878 subscribers. We'd like to have about 40 million reach the whole world. Get them the gospel. If you'd like to help us stay open for free, join our 777 Club. We ask folks, if they can, do a dollar a day. We will not send a letter done and for money and say, where's your, where's your contribution last month? We don't even keep track. I sure don't. Uh, <laughs> That's, I'm sure, what he told the IRS. Okay. I feel like when I go through these episodes where I just let him talk and kind of skip ahead a bit, it's just like, all right. Yay. Mo Bobine. Tongue and slap your brains out trying to get to 